chance of a run out. They take off the bells. I don't think uh, Yuvraj is too keen. Or did he have the ball in his hand? It's pretty quick though, Stein. Slow is a little bit throw is a little bit slow to come in. There's no direct hit. He's gone. He's gone. In fact, the ball was uh, not firmly in Yuvraj's hand, but he's got enough uh, over here to make sure that the ball touches the stumps. And this is a lucky break for India. He's well short of his ground. And number eight goes down. And this match uh, still could be anybody's game. It's a good idea against the left-hander. A single. Just a boundary away now. No sweeper on the offside. Walk on strike. Concentration. That's a good idea. One and Walk are sometimes vulnerable against short pitch bowling. Doesn't play the pull shot that well, so it was well worth a go. Once one, straight to the third, but sent back by Parnell. A loud yelp from the non-striker, 187 for eight. So a look back at the match summary. India winning the toss and electing the bat first, which did surprise a couple. All out for 190 after losing their last six with just 21 runs. So Tsobi sensational picking up four. And in reply, South Africa, 187 for eight. It's just four runs. That's all they need. Plenty of overs to go. Ball pretty well to the left handers as well. So what a game we've had. What a month we've had. So there it's on to the pad, I think. End result is a single. It really has surprised a lot of people. is going to come out that is a huge wicket more and looking to finish it in one hit but he couldn't get over the top of it the drive easy shot but that wasn't full enough so the breakthrough comes the drama continues more and has gone for six 188 for nine it's a cliffhanger long wabo Tsobi has arrived number 11 a genuine number 11 Four wickets, and he bowled so superbly. A long conversation between him and Wayne Parnell before Tutsobi arrived at the batting end. Goodness me, what about this for pressure? Three to win, plenty of balls. A tie is a tie, of course. There's no super over, there's no replays. India will be desperate to pick up a quick wicket now. They want to wrap this up. We have got pressure galore. There is tension on the faces. One up Patel to Tutsobi. On the front foot, middle of the bat. Big cheer at the Wanderers. Well, Robert Sotobe has had a great evening. He bowled superbly. He caught his terrific catch as well. And this is why he's there. Mono Morkel trying to get the boundary, but not getting over the top of it. It wasn't full enough for the drive. So Munaf Patel strikes again. He's bowled superbly for India. Has he got one? Yes, he has. He's off the mark with the single to Torby. If there was a room for the Wanderers, it would have just come off. That's two to win now. Two deliveries left in this over. Wayne Parnell on strike. Wow, what a finish. We have seen some extraordinary cricket over the last month. Another magnificent game here at the Wanderers. Fight back to Midi after being totally outplayed in the first one in Durban. And there's tension in that change room, that's for sure. Brings Parnell back on strike. That's the important thing from Tutsori's point of view. 
Zaya Khan wants a crack at Sotsobe. He's got one over left. One delivery left in this over. And Wayne Parnell finish it now. And this is going to be uh, an Emma's lonely dance. The bottom line here is they cannot afford to give away a single. Scores will be level then. Need to make sure that Parnell doesn't score a run with this delivery. Last ball be over from Patel. Goodness me! Wow, this is extraordinary. That is it. It is sensational stuff here at the Wanderers. Parnell cannot believe what's happened. The celebrations have begun for India. I can imagine that all around the cricketing world, people are out of.